cameras on. So the red light, and so sometimes I forget to put it, the red light on. Um, ha just generally on kin kinesiology, muscle testing. So there are traditional ways. One is the O-ring, where you just, um, like my name Sabir should be strong, and my name is Adolf Hitler should be weak. Um, and uh, so um, that's a good one, your name. If you say your name, my name is Sabir, it should be, should be stronger then my name, Ad Adolf Hitler, you should be very, very weak. If you picture Adolf Hitler and it's strong, that's not a good sign. Uh, and uh, um, so basically when you say something which is anti-truth, anti-love, um, your, your muscle strength should collapse. But also what's good, before you start muscle testing, do the thymic thump. Um, so, thymic thump. so every time before you do muscle testing, in case you've got unclear energy through your meridians, just so so I picture, let's say I picture Hawkins and go, ha, 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 ha. That will clear your energy. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then, so after you clear your energy, you want to do two or three calibration questions to make sure it's working. So calibration questions are like, my name's Sabir, my name's Adolf Hitler. So one, my name's Sabir should be, there should be a differential, it should be more stronger then my name is Adolf Hitler, should be weaker, yeah? Or, uh, so you want to get two or three calibration questions which, you, which are very clear, correct. Otherwise, if you don't get those calibration questions right before you start asking, um, asking a question on like, is this job going to be right for me? If you haven't got two or three calibration questions right before you ask that, you, you, you won't be getting reliable. If you get two or three calibration questions right, my name is Sabir and it's strong. And then, um, uh, what's another calibration? Okay, let me make a picture of uh, David Hawkins and check the strength. And then check the strength of Osama bin Laden. So I should be strong with uh, David Hawkins and weak with Osama. So that, if I get those two right in a row, um, then I would then now ask, is it right for me to join this company? So it's right for me to join XYZ company if it stays strong. I would take that as yes. I'm going to write, I'll accept your job offer and I'm going to join this donut manufacturing company, whatever it is. You know. <laughs> Usually, if I do something with an addictive motive, I, if it's right, I mean, it should go weak. Um, if now, the way I actually do it, the O ring wasn't my best one. I can't always do it reliably, so I, don't, I get someone else to do it for me, which is if you. If you're not able to do it, you just get someone else and do it with someone or ask them to do it. Um, but the way I do it is, I, I don't see this camera, I go, because I like testing this muscle by pressing this down, I don't know if that makes sense, I get a better read. So, my name's Sabir, my name is a uh, Adolf Hitler. So I test this muscle and I find, or you can, I like doing it this way as well. It's like a self-test, so my name's Sabir, my name is Adolf Hitler. So, so I find this muscle or this way better than this one personally when I, when I can do it. If I do it, I have to get a couple of calibration questions right, because some days I can't get my calibration questions. If, um, if, I'm, if I'm not feeling right, so I can intuitively feel I'm not connected enough to do it today. And I'll try and get some calibration questions and they won't work, and I'll go, today you can't do it, forget today. And if it's something important, I want to get calibration, I'll try it three or four mornings in a row. I usually find the mornings are good. Uh, me personally, I, I mean, some people are really good at, at muscle testing. They can do it all the time. Uh, and if you know one of these people, they're a great asset to know. Uh, you can't do it for selfish questions. Don't, but don't even try and do it for selfish questions because uh, that's, self, that's selfish. Not because it won't work. God is not going to give you the lottery numbers. Um, and God is not going to tell you, you know, how to rob someone's house and what the safe things. Don't, don't try that because uh, the, the muscle testing is a spiritual gift. It's a spiritual divine gift. So it shouldn't be used for selfish purposes. It can't be used for selfish purposes. Um, so do the thumb, thump. Try those. There is another method which I didn't find useful, which is you get a pile of books uh, and you just pick them up and say, my name is Sabir, pick the book, pile of books up, and then 
think of uh, Adolf Hitler and pick a book. So it should be easier to pick up the one for a yes. <coughs> um, and it should be harder to pick up the pile of book, books for a no. So you just change the weight of the books until you can get a clear yes and no. I don't really like doing that one, but that is another option of self-testing. Otherwise, um, if you know someone, ask them. If, you have, if you're very emotionally charged, you can't get an answer. You, it has to be done when you're in a neutral, <clears throat> when you're not vested, you haven't got a vested interest, otherwise your ego will get in the way. So a good way to ask questions is when, when, you, when you're in the observer, or you're in a very neutral, or you've dissolved, the new, you've dissolved your, your ego gain in it, or you're feeling very neutral, you don't care whether you get which way, you'll get accurate answers. Like, uh, otherwise, if, you're like, if your ego goes, I want to get this, and you're feeling very, very emotional, you're not going to get, you're not in a detached observer wanting to connect to divinity. Your ego is just in there. Uh, so you're not going to get a clear answer on that. So um, that's general. Yeah. So if it's not, you don't get a clear answer it's because the ego is in the way. And okay. So I, I, you know, I have had the privilege of trying lots and lots of people to be my kinesiology partner over the years. Um, I'll very, very quickly know if, if I can do it with a person. We've had a person in this group uh, who we've done it with. And, uh, and you just know they're a great partner to work with. You can work with them any time. The majority of people you can't, it doesn't work with, or they don't get clear, consistent answers. So you'll try th several calibration questions, and after one or two, they start going wonky. So, uh, so people in active addiction won't get clear answers. If you're, eating, if you're binging on donuts and Netflix the whole day, and you want to be like an instrument for God, being totally in, do, in having no ego investment and be a clear channel, you're not going to get it. I tried. I once tried someone in, in active food addiction, and there was their arms were just staying strong no matter what I asked them. Are, are you Adolf Hitler? Is like, is there, are you Mother Teresa? I mean, not, there was no. I mean, they were just so jammed, and in their addiction that you know there was no, there was no way you could feel like it's going to take a long time for them to clear up before they can be used as a divine instrument. Um, my tip is, if you can't do it, find somebody who can. Um, or keep practicing. I also found my own experience is, there are days when you're, very div when you're feeling very spiritually connected, you've probably got a better chance on those days. Um, or check every morning for a few days to see if you can get, if you can get two or three calibrations done with the positives, quickly ask, ask the question then afterwards. So that's the way I do it. I go, okay, I've had three positives. I'm, I must be in the zone today. I'll, I'll be neutral and ask the question without any vested interest and get an answer on that. As I have had prompts. It's somehow mystical. Sometimes the universe will tell me, check the question with, with muscle testing. And it's like I'm given the grace to do it on that day. And often I don't. It's like, you know, should I buy a chicken sandwich or a thing like, God's not interested in giving me the answer for that. It's like... But sometimes it's like I get a prompt like check and I'm able to do it. I don't know if that makes sense. So sometimes there's a mystical thing where the universe wants you to double check things. And um, I did have it. I did have some, some good things happen. I had a mystical thing. I'll just share this. Uh, it sounds a bit egoic. But I was running a Hawkins group many years ago and we had, we had those two girls there and we were practicing muscle testing. And uh, this is a true story. Uh, and we said, why don't we try and guess each other's birthdays? And, and so we all, and none of us would tell us each other's birthdays, and we'd try and check it out. And we all got each other's birthdays. I think it was a grace thing. It was like a mystical day. And they got my birthday, I got their birthday. And we were all able to do that. The date uh, and the month. The date and the month, and the year. And, uh, and one of the girls said, this is a great party trick at the end. So. Um, but it was not meant for that. But they have had mystical occurrences where what seems to be impossible through kinesiology has been found. 